big win against a really good team. I thought, you know, I'm proud that we fought from behind for a big part of the game. And, you know, middle of the third quarter to be down 10. And, um, just thought we um, kept our heads and, and kept playing and played, played, played better defensively in that second half, which really helped. It was, it was an atypical Creighton Northern Iowa game. I mean, typical because it was close, but atypical because it was in the 70s instead of the 50s. So it was just kind of weird that way. And, but I think that was helpful because, you know, when, when we were down 10 in the third quarter, I felt like it didn't seem as much as 10 sometimes seems when you play Northern Iowa when it ends up 55 to 54, you know. So, uh, but these guys were great. I thought uh, Tatum had her best game of the year for sure. And, uh, um, you know, I thought, Obviously, Emma was really good on offense. I thought she made some defensive adjustments, I mean, in the second half. And we're going to need that from her because we need her on offense. So um, really happy with some of the some of the things that we did better in the second half defensively because um, that's going to help us going forward. So uh, really good win. We got a little momentum and uh, excited for uh, a couple more home games next weekend. Yeah, I kind of want to start at 49, 39, too. I mean, it seems like they were starting to feel pretty good about what they were doing out there. Um, see their bench was energized and everything. What, what, what did you guys kind of talk about in that timeout? What did you emphasize down 10 there? Because it seemed like the game flipped right after that. Yeah. Um, I give all the credit to our underclassmen. They are so locked in and engaged in timeouts and it's so encouraging as well. Um, they never lose faith in us and I think the effort, um, even on the bench, is so telling. Yeah, and I also think we don't panic. We have the tools to come back from a deficit like that, or even more than 10, and we don't panic. We just use the people that we have. We adjust, and I think we just made a really good run at the end of that. Yeah, you guys like It's OK if you don't get down more than 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 If you don't want to down more than 10, it's like you found yourself now, this is three games against NCAA tournament you know, caliber. Teams and you find yourselves in that kind of a hole and you have to fall back from it. Like, why do you think? Uh, why do you think you guys don't panic in that situation? What do you think it is about your makeup? You know, basketball is a game of runs, and they had their run, and I think it's really important for us not to completely collapse during their runs, but know that we have people that can make downhill plays, that can get open threes, and if we make those simple plays during those times, then we're going to get the looks that we want in the fall. Yeah, like I said earlier, we have all the tools. Everyone comes with a different skill set on the team. We've got shooters. We can have people that score in the paint. We've got defenders. So we just have all the tools to come back from something like that. Do you dream of a day where you can be up 10 with that? And that <laughs> oh, obviously, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, they went to the zone to try to mix things up on you guys. Uh, obviously, you were hurting them inside with downhill drives and the post-ups. What was the key to kind of attacking that and staying patient and not you know, getting trapped or turning the ball over? Yeah, I mean, it was, we prepared for that all week, just knowing that they could switch up defenses on us. Um, I think it was important to go to the smaller guard side um, with a bigger player on that side, so Morgan on their smaller guard, just so that she can see the floor a little bit better and skip passes were really crucial during that time too. Yeah, I think it's also important to realize that zones like that are just meant to speed, speed you up and make you make quick decisions. So I thought us just like calming down and realizing that we still have like the shot clock's our friend, especially when we're up five with two minutes left. So I think just us realizing that we're not in, like we don't need to score within the first five seconds of the shot clock, we can just take our time. So that really helped us break down the zone at the end. You plan, uh, I mean, you've seen Tatum's progression here as a decision maker, playmaker, She's, you know, hers as a front ratio is the best in her entire career yeah. right now. What do you feel like she's doing really well that's allowing her to play with that pace, but also be sure. state free in that regard too? Well, I think she practiced, you know, she would tell you, she's, if she, when she stayed healthy, you know, being in practice every day and being healthy is a, is a huge thing. I mean, from a repetition standpoint, I feel like that's, you know, when, really the last couple of years when she's 
going back to Jalen's senior year, when, when she's been healthy and able to practice every day, we're a different offensive team than 